Hi folks, this is Eric from Blue Mountain Precision. I uh, just started to do some videos and stuff for you people out there. Um, this is a really important fact of Blue Mountain Precision, the reason why I call the company Precision. Um, this is a Winchester Model 70 action that I've gone through for a customer. Um, we're building a 300 short mag on this action. Uh, we're blocking off the magazine and turning it into a 14 pound uh, Huskama Challenge gun. The guy wants to go shoot the Huskama Challenge. And anyways, I just want to go over briefly concentricity in a rifle and how important it is. Um, bullets in a rifle need to be concentric of the bore. And so when you hear a blueprint job and all this other stuff that's out there, there's so much that goes into that to keep that bullet concentric of that bore. So what I've done here is this is a blueprint job done on an action um, set model 70 uh, Winchester it's, an, it's actually a newer style Winchester um, and as you can see the face has been cut on this action uh, I recut the thread on the back side and all this is uh, center of the raceway of the bolt and so anyways the raceway is the center line as you would think of where that bullet and that cartridge sits on there so when the bullet is in line and concentric of the bore, all that has to be right from back here. So let's just put this together. Um, the face of the action, or the bolt, has also been cut. And also on the back of the lugs. Um, the front of the lugs I did not touch up. You can do that for cosmetics, but it strictly doesn't do much. Um, the bolt has been lapped and everything else before we get any chamber work. The chamber's completely cut over here. But anyways, this kind of just kind of briefly explains concentricity in a barrel. Um, this the bullet here is going to be protruding from the end of that and you're going to have concentricity needs to be through the center line of that bullet going in the center line of the bore and so when everything here mates up here square the face of the action square through the thread that's the hence the reason why we cut that you don't have any stress points down either side of your action and the face is square and the lugs are square everything here is sitting square so that bullet will enter the bore of the barrel without this forming and being concentric of the bore that's what we're trying to do here folks um, so anyways let's go over here and kind of look at what we got going on um, right now I've got this dial indicator set on uh, the lands of the riflings um, well let me go forward just a little bit here get it in there and what you're gonna see um, I'm going to put this, try to get this closer to zero so you guys have a better reference point there. But anyways, you can see that is perfect right there. It's right there at just one and a half, right, foul, ten thousand. So this is a ten thousandths indicator, folks. And what it's doing is, as you can see, how concentric that is. So that's where I left the barrel um, when I was chambering it at the end there. Now if I come back out, you can just see all the way through this thing, it's going right to the exact same point. And that's a ten thousandths indicator. So that right now where the chamber reamer was running was running within a ten thousandths of being perfectly true on this Krieger number no. eight barrel for this heavier gun that I'm building the 300 short mag. So anyways, you can kind of see that it's just running right on there right on that two to uh, one and a half mark. And so, and here's the free bore. You can see the free bore and you can see the needle just just stays right where it's at. I mean, the needle just stays there. So that that's good. Now I'm gonna come back and I'm gonna show you the chamber end of the gun. I'm gonna adjust down here, get the chamber. I'll try to get this set at more closer to zero this time, but you, the needle movement's what matters, folks. You want all this stuff concentric of the axis of the lathe, so your bullet's concentric. So, anyways, you can see right now, the needles is sitting on zero, so I sped it up there, so that they're so sensitive if you move it too fast. But anyways, right there, you can see the needles just sitting there. And I'm gonna keep coming back, it's gonna move because of the angle of the case and the angle of the chamber. We're gonna come back there about halfway we're going to check it again and the needle just sitting there same thing all the way to the end right where the case first goes in and the needles just sitting there so anyways folks um, this is a brief description 
of uh, concentricity in a barrel and in an action to combine it all. Maybe you've heard those terms before, I'm not quite sure what it means. We're going to post this on our Facebook and also up there on YouTube and you can download it on our uh, website here very soon. And it's just a uh, description, a very in detail description of what concentricity in a rifle matters. And for top accuracy, this is an, a very important fact. So there's so many things that go into doing a full blueprint job on an action and keeping everything concentric of the bore while the machinist or gunsmith, as you have it, is doing your chamber job on your rifle. So. Hope this helped all you people at home and hope to help all you future rifle builders out there and other people that would like to do business with me. So thank you very much for watching this video on Blue Mountain Precision.